Easy, what's good? It's Alex Zen here from alexzen.com. Thank you for listening to this audio. Right, I'm going to keep it. I just want to keep it. Um, I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes, basically. No nonsense bullshit, just straight to the point um, and really get you thinking about these things, yeah? All right, so obviously this audio is called Three Ways to Separate Yourself as an Artist, right? And I think these are very important things you kind of need to internalise before you go forth on your musical career, yeah? All right, so the first things, right, three... Um, things which separate you as an artist, right? So the first thing is your distinct visual style, yeah? Number two is uh, what do you stand for? What is your core message? And number three is your delivery style, vibe, energy, yeah? These are three distinct things um, which will ultimately separate you as an artist, right? So uh, number one, distinct visual style. Um, Now, obviously, this is going to be the way you kind of dress, the way you appear, yeah? Um... Now, I don't want to go on too many tan- t- tangents. I'm just going to kind of say what I think um, is probably the best way to go about it, especially if you're an independent artist, yeah? Um, you know, you're not someone who's got, like, um, big, 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 big backing at the moment. You haven't got, like, a big, you know, um, major major backing. Well, you might do, but you're not like Lady Gaga. Let's put it that way, yeah? You're an independent artist, right? Now, I would say in terms of your visual style, I mean, I would say keep it within your cultural context, yeah? And maybe... Don't be too outlandish. Now, to be honest, you can do what the hell you want. You can be too outlandish. But the one thing I think is probably the best and probably the most authentic is you want to be dressing in such a way when you're performing, like you're out there, you want to be dressing in such a way where, you know, you're kind of distinct and you're kind of different. But it's, it's something that you could be, you'd be comfortable wearing out and about in normal life as well. I find that if you're, if you're the kind of person where you dress some, well, a certain way and then when you go out and perform to, to a certain crowd or whatever, you've got a kind of, present yourself in a completely different way to me that's kind of inauthentic i mean if you've got to do that then maybe that that's not your those aren't really your people do you know what i'm saying you're kind of faking it a little bit um i would say you know you've got to be kind of like distinct you, you've got to kind of like have a subtly distinct style but it's got to be something which kind of works you know in everyday life but also can be applied to when you're performing all right um i'll just give you a quick example actually um there's an artist i'm working with some rapper a very, very talented guy. But if you met him in everyday life, you think, this this is not a rapper. You know, he works in the city of London. He wears suits. He's really smart, quite posh, right? But the interesting thing about this guy is when he turned up to our studio sessions, he was wearing, he's a very well-spoken guy. He's got his little shirt and everything. But he's a sick lyricist. He's great, wicked flow and everything. But he didn't compromise and say, right, I'm going to do what's expected um, of me from people in that kind of hip-hop scene. And just be another one of those guys. He actually, just, he actually said, like, I am, I am some some city boy. I wear suits and shirts, but I rap as well. And that's gonna, that's gonna be what makes him successful and different, without a doubt. Yeah. But um, okay, without further ado, let's get to number two. What do you stand for? What is your core message? Right. So, and by the way, all these these three points, these are things you should probably start trying to implement as soon as possible. Rethink about them. Rethink about what you stand for. Re restart to observe yourself and restart trying to observe um implement these from the beginning because you want to get these from the beginning and stay consistent right now number two what do you stand for what is your core message do you stand for the quote unquote the truth are you all about fun and partying are you about kind of social issues are you about love and relationships now if you look at this way you've got people like say chris brown i mean that guy he's been singing about love and relationships since he began up until this point now. But if he suddenly started singing about, I don't know, world peace and feed the children, sure, some people might be like, oh, that's 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 nice. But if he started doing that more and more and more, he would lose his core audience. Do you know what I'm saying? You want to really start to identify your core audience from the beginning and keep your message consistent um, for them. Now, obviously, you know, maybe our views on the world will change and, and whatnot. And I think maybe this is even why sometimes some artists can't stay con- consistent within the industry because maybe they just don't really feel a certain way about things and then they start to lose their core audience but I guarantee you if you identify what you stand for from the very beginning and keep it consistent with that um, you will start to build up the core audience and you'll start to see success right number three your style your vibe and your energy yeah what do you stand for like I mean not what do you stand for my bad Um, how do people how do you come across to people you know how do you make people feel you know are you a, a fun person are you a moody person you know, if you're if you're exuding a fun fun party vibe or happy happy peaceful fun vibe, and then suddenly two years down the line you're kind of on some dark shit, then obviously everyone who resonated with your fun stuff aren't gonna resonate with your dark shit, are they? 
You know, this is something you want to keep consistent as well, you know. Obviously, times change, you know, people grow and, and life moves on and, you know, you might so start to feel a certain way about um, certain things which you didn't before, but now this is the beauty of it. If you keep these three points, your distinct, one, number one, your distinct visual style, number two, your core message, and number three, your vibe and your energy, if you keep these three consistent and kind of resonating with each other, then if one of those things will start to deviate and change, then you will still, I think, you still will kind of... Um, you'll still maintain a kind of consistency. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's put it this way. Say artists, um, as time goes on, their fashion, yeah, their fashion kind of changes with the trends, right? Um, in, in in their own little way, it changes with like um, society's trends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But their core message and their vibe might stay the same. So that's how they kind of, that's, so they're kind of reinventing themselves, but they're not in a sense, if you get what I'm saying. But, if, if the way you dressed, if your core message and your vibe completely changed after, say, four years, four years being the, a typical PLC, which is product life cycle, which is interesting. This is what a lot of artists have a PLC of four years, meaning that, they're, that they kind of become popular and then their career kind of comes to slow down after four years. And then they have to typically reinvent themselves to begin another PLC. But this is, this is, some, this is some stuff that you could do research in your own time. But what I'm saying is, if you're... If, if one of these things kind of deviates slightly, but the other two are kind of consistent, then you can, um, I think you can kind of like, you won't lose, you won't lose the attention of your, of your fan base, right? So I think you kind of got to get, keep these three things consistent. At least if, at least if one of them's consistent, then there won't be too much of a problem, all right? So number one, distinct visual style, the way you present yourself, yeah? Number two, your core message. What is it you stand for? What is it you're singing or rapping about, yeah? Number three, what is your energy, yeah, like, uh, you got to ask yourself this kind of stuff now, yeah. Um, I will say, like, I think a lot of artists don't necessarily come into the game thinking, oh, I'm going to be this, be, th be that, be that. Um, maybe because they didn't know any better, right? But I can guarantee you any successful artist is ticking those boxes, whether unconsciously or consciously, but they are ticking those boxes. You know, I'm sure, like, Kurt Cobain or, or whoever... <laughs> James Brown or someone, I'm sure they didn't sit down and think, hmm, maybe I've got to be A, B, and C. But when you think of those artists, you think you you can tick these three boxes. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's important to address these things. And I just think you want to kind of really um, just start kind of utilising them. Like... And why not? And why not just kind of tap into like? I mean, you don't necessarily have to kind of compromise yourself. But say, for example, just say, for example you're all about peace, love and hippie shit, yeah? If you're performing out there and, you're, and your core message is about peace, love and hippie shit, then maybe you should just be kind of busting stuff and wearing stuff that other people within that community is wearing. Do you know what I mean? Now, you could obviously, a lot of kind of like, I think a lot of the most innovative social changes happen when people are kind of mixing different ideas and creating something kind of complete brand new. Definitely, that's where the most innovative things happen. But also remember that some of the most innovative things don't necessarily are, are kind of harder to market, yeah. And they're kind of it's harder to kind of make money from that kind of shit. And this is obviously where the, where the kind of the dichotomy comes in the music industry. Are you going to be some straight? Are you going to get your marketing down and have a, just a strong game in that respect, or are you trying to be a quote unquote you know pioneer? It's really up to you. But I'm just trying to give you the the, the hard facts. If you're just trying to be commercially successful, yeah. If you're really trying to kind of like have some sort of tangible success as opposed to being a kind of uh, a cult hero on, on, the, on the edges, on the fringes of society. Do you know what I'm saying? I would say, you know what they say? They say, when in Rome, do as Romans do. Yeah? But like, again, with my example, with that guy, the city boy who raps, um, I think because there's so many people, there's so many rappers and hip hop artists kind of already, because it's, it's so kind of like typecasted in a certain way, because he's he's coming with a different style, I think that will be um, that's going to work to his advantage. You know, it's it's very. Some cases are a bit different, some are not, but um, it's it's. I think it's also an individual. Ba it's all it's all it's all based on individuals' um, um, situation as well. You know, but essentially you got to keep true to yourself, and um, and that's it really. Anyway, I don't want to go on too much of a tangent, but. 
I think I hope 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 you've got these points across um, these these points. So yeah, number one. All right. So what's your distinct visual style? Yeah. How do you appear to people? Number two. What is your core message? What do you stand for? Yeah. And number three. What is your vibe? What is your energy? What is your mood? How do you make people feel? You need to get these three resonating with each other, and you need to just be consistent with it. And um, and that's it. At the end of the day, get to know yourself, know what you're about, really explore yourself, go inside yourself and find out what you're about and just let it out, yeah? Don't be a carbon copy, don't be a clone, yeah? No one wants to hear a carbon copy or clone. They, they'd rather hear the person that you're carbon copying or cloning, do you know what I'm saying? So just redo really something different and be just be savvy about it, yeah? All right, so I'm going to try... Wow, this actually finished a lot earlier than I thought. All right, so I'm going to sign that now. This is your boy Alex Zen, your producer. Make sure you hit up alexzen.com. That's A-L-E-K-S-Z-E-N. And um, start downloading some instrumentals. You know, give me a shout. Let me know if you need any help. My email is contact at alexzen.com. My Twitter is at alexzen. Hit me up on Instagram. Same thing, alexzen. Um, and go on my YouTube, alexzen official, right? But www.alexzen.com, get your beats from there or sign up if you haven't already signed up and uh, get some free beats that way. Anyway, I'm going to sign out. It is your boy, Al, and I'm ducking out of here. Have a good weekend or good week or whenever you're listening to this, all right? All right, so take it easy and just keep going and keep doing what you're loving. Keep true to yourself and just enjoy life, all right? I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>